Well, good news and bad news, On uh, first of all, agents are going to be authorized to sell uh, health policies through the federal, uh, federally facilitated marketplace exchanges um, if they go through training and registration process. Uh, unfortunately, that process has been very cumbersome. Um, the process set up by CMS has experienced a lot of the same glitches and uh, agents receiving error messages and things like that. The same glitches as you, you would get uh, when you go on to uh, healthcare.gov, the actual exchange website itself. And the shop exchange is a separate uh, exchange online from the individual market where small businesses from two to fifty employees can purchase uh, health plans for their employees and the, in the federally facilitated marketplace states um, that is not yet up and running in those 36 states where the federal government's running the, the online marketplace and it won't be up and running until at least November right now there's only sample pricing um, and online enrollment is impossible um, that they said this is all going to get up and running in, like I said, in November. Dividing up the issues into two buckets, you have the uh, all the the issues with the online enrollment and all these glitches you're hearing about all over on the news now. But what I really worry about are structural issues with the law. You know, price shock leading to adverse selection, the young and healthy not signing up for coverage, uh, foregoing coverage, and and seeing further price spikes and just prices spiraling out of control and the market's failing and then what's left to put in that vacuum but a single payer system probably which would be really really bad and worst case scenario for our membership and small businesses everywhere. Agents that want to stay up to date on ACA issues can keep checking our website at iiaba.net or sign up for insurance news and views. I write articles on ACA issues on almost a weekly basis.